Hi, I'm uh, Mark Servals. I'm a professor at the University of Waterloo, uh, and we've been studying the Grand River for the last uh, two decades. We were looking at the health of fish in the Grand River, and we had some sites downstream of the treatment plants, and we were shocked to find that we saw intersects, and we saw eggs developing in the male gonads of rainbow darter and other darters. And this really concerned us, and we started working with the region at that point to try to understand what was going on in the river. I'm Pam Law, I'm the Manager of Engineering and Planning uh, for Water Services here at the region. Everybody knows that, you know, the what goes down your drain uh, has to go somewhere, and where it goes is uh, to our wastewater treatment plants. We have 13 here in the region, and so it really takes everything that's collected uh, in the sewers and treats it so that what we put out is not having a really negative impact on the environment. So we have a number of processes that the sewage goes through to get it clean enough so that we can put it out into the river. When we started seeing these effects, we, we started collaborating with the region uh, without having this close relationship between the region and the regional staff and engineers that are working in the treatment plant and working on water quality, we wouldn't have been able to do the work that we've been able to do. We invested about $450 million over about 10 years, uh, and that's between our two plants, Kitchener and Waterloo. So that's a major investment for us, but we knew that it was what we had to do. It was the right thing to do. And we saw almost immediately a big improvement in the fish. It, it was remarkable. Within a year and a half, uh, we saw the uh, recovery of the fish. The uh, males now have this really, really bright uh, colors that are so important for their reproduction. This is a great success story for the region. We have to make sure that we're not having a negative impact on, on the local environment. So our wastewater treatment plants, we really look at where we are discharging to, what the impacts are going to be on the river, and what sort of improvements we need to make at our plants to make sure that we can continue to be good stewards of the water. This is an excellent example of how we can work together to solve problems. So it's been a, a great collaboration, um, a huge success story. It's been wonderful working with the region, and uh, we've made an impact on science, but we've had an impact on the river and the community. You get to learn about wastewater, I get to learn about fish. <laughs> I've learned a lot about wastewater, that's yeah, for sure. I learned a lot more about fish than I ever knew before. <laughs>